Today we're going to be looking at the Visconti Tuning BRZ and FRS Flex Fuel version 2 kit. This works on the North American Subaru BRZ and Scion FRS. First, let's look at what's included in the kit. On the right hand side is a wiring harness that connects to the rear O2 port that goes over and into the cabin as well as it wires off and goes to the flex fuel sensor. Next to it on the left is your gauge that shows you the ethanol content that you're currently at. Uh, next to that is the actual sensor that goes inside the cabin. Above that is the sensor that the fuel hoses connect to with two screws to mount it to the fender. Above it you're going to see the two quick disconnect fuel hoses. Um, these are stainless steel and you can also get black rubber depending on what is in stock. The first thing we need to do is remove the high pressure fuel pump fuse. It's a 20 amp fuse so pop the hood, open the fuse cover box and it's a yellow fuse that's up on the left hand side, the passenger side, towards the front of the vehicle. Here you can see I point to it and remove the fuse. Now that you have the fuse removed, try to attempt to start the car. If it turns on, turn the vehicle off and then start it again and if it starts to turn over but not turn on then you've done it correctly and what you're doing is removing the pressure from the lines. Now that the lines should be at least somewhat clear, go ahead and remove the negative terminal from the battery. Now you need to get a rag and get the gray tool to remove the quick disconnect. Um, here you can see I put the rag underneath the line and the little plastic gray tool is what is used to disconnect the quick, the quick disconnect from the fuel line. Now be careful there can be some fuel that will spray out. Um, it is come somewhat difficult to get the plastic underneath the green plastic but once you get it it will click and the fuel line will come right out. With the quick disconnect off you're going to want to connect the connector with the red end and it will click right on and you can see it's going up and behind and underneath the brake booster and that's coming over the top this side. Now the, your standard fuel line that you've disconnected is going to go right route down and connect to the male line and it will click in and that again goes underneath the brake booster or the brake ABS sensor and this is where you mount your sensor. Now we're going to connect the lines to the ethanol sensor. Uh, make sure you connect it before you mount it to the fender. And flow does not matter, it doesn't matter which way it goes in, but this is how we have ours connected. Use the supplied screws to mount the ethanol sensor to the pre-drilled holes. There's already holes in the fender mount that this will attach to and you really don't need a drill, you can get them in with your hand. They go in uh, really well and secure the sensor uh, pretty much perfectly. So there's really no question. Um, it mounts really good, real firm. It's not going to vibrate or move. It's not going to go anywhere. It's at this point we're going to connect or at least show you the route that we take to mount the sensor. It connects right here to the rear O2 plug. It goes along this box underneath the um, back and it goes all the way across to the sensor. There's a very unique path. This portion is sped up quite a bit but essentially you connect it to the rear O2 plug, run it down the passenger side of the engine, you will see there's a harness that you can go up to the firewall over behind the brake booster and that's where it's going to Y off into the cabin and then right over to the flex fuel sensor. Here is a detailed view onto how to route the wires exactly. And you can see it goes right around to this wiring harness, up the wiring harness to the firewall, it goes across the firewall, and it will go behind the brake booster. And you can see it Y off right here into the cabin and then along these two white clips uh, right to the sensor. Now for the tricky part, we have to run this connector through the rubber grommet on the driver's side. It can be quite difficult. Take your time, make sure you don't cut any wires. Once you have fed the wire through, you need to connect the extension cable to that. 
which will go to the Zitronix sensor. Um, essentially it goes to the signal wire. The signal wire and the gauge wire are on the same side. It will only go into one connector. So you plug it into this side. It's, uh, it's a little tricky to get the plug in, but once you get it in, it's not going to come out. And then your gauge plugs into the port right next to it, just like so. And that's the only two wires you have to connect to that box. Once you've flashed your tune, go ahead and turn the car on and it will show you your ethanol content. And you're all done.